was a screen recording of two different um, internet windows open side by side just to show you how you could find some of the case law that's referred to by the guy in Massachusetts. So on the left side I've got an internet window that is the court document which is the defendant's brief in support of motion to dismiss. So I'll scroll down into there and they start listing um, the cases that he cites. On the right side I have this web tool Google Scholar and you can find case law on Google Scholar. So go back to, let's say for example, I wanted to find a Massachusetts case, Caffin versus Caffin. So I go over to Google Scholar, I select that I want case law, I select the courts I want, I select all the Massachusetts courts, and then I say I'm done. And then I put up here the case I'm looking for, C-A-F-F-Y-N versus C-A-F-Y-N, and I search. And then you see this, Caffin versus Caffin, 441 Massachusetts, 487. I think, but I'm not 100% sure, that this 441 is like a volume number of some long-time system that the courts of Massachusetts were using to keep published in case law from their appellate courts or their Supreme Court. And I think this number 487 is a page number, but I'm not really sure. Nonetheless, these two numbers match the numbers over here on the citation that the guy in Massachusetts uses. So then you can click over here and you can read the case. So let's say you want to find a case in the United States. So I'm in Google Scholar. Now I'm going to say select my courts again. So this time here's one that's a U.S. case. I'm just guessing that it's the U.S. Supreme Court. Not really sure, but I'm going to go over to Google Scholar. I select U.S. Supreme Court. Um, I don't really know that it's going to be any other ones. If it was a lower circuit court, I think the citation given by the um, appellant would have told us that. So I'm just going to leave it U.S. Supreme Court and I say done. And then this time, oh, it should say U.S. Supreme Court. Did I make a mistake? Let me do it again. Uh, select courts. Uh, oh, get rid of Massachusetts and use only Supreme Court. Now I say done. Yeah, now it's looking at those courts. This time I'm going to look for this thing, Dartmouth versus Woodard. So I already typed it in here, but I'll pretend I'm typing it typity typity. And then I enter, and lo and behold, 17, volume, I think it's volume 17, page 250, I'm not really sure. But then you can see it. Also, um, if you look through one of these things, to find out what page number it was, so I'm a little unfamiliar with this. I mean, this little 266, it might be a page number in an original printed version. Like here, this little 299, it might be the beginning of page 299 in the original print version, page 300. So in the body of the appellate decision, I mean, the appellate brief, if we could find somewhere, actually, this is too big. I'm going to make it a little smaller. If we could find somewhere where he cites one of these things, Okay, so here's something. He's citing a case, Sans, who knows, Sansa, Iowa. It's a U.S. Supreme Court case. I'm guessing it's volume 419. It begins on page 393, but this quote that he's giving, I believe this last number here, 404, tells the reader, well, what page number in this volume did the author find this quote that he's giving us? So then if you were over here and you were looking at that exact case, I guess we could verify if I'm right. Uh, let's get out of here. Since it's another U.S. Supreme Court case, I'm going to type in S-O-S-N-A versus Iowa. Let's see what happens. Ah, 419, 393. Okay. And then I'm going to look on the left margin for these little gray numbers, 404, 404, 404. Doo -doo. Okay. I believe this is where page 404 starts. Does it have this quote that says jurisdiction over a position? Let's see. I'll use the search. Find. Oh, you can't. Juris. You can't really see what I'm doing. Can I make it a little higher? Okay. Jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. Over. Did I spell it wrong? Jurisdiction. Over. There it is. Juris serves that. So here's the quote that the appellant used. I hope that helps.